The RLC is the longest running grassroots coalition to promote the ideals our country was founded on. We've been running since 1990 nationwide. We started here in Arizona in 2018. And our goal is to promote the idea that the Republican Party should be the defender of individual rights and free markets and the Constitution as the founders intended it to work. The Republican Party's main goal is to win elections. That's what comes first through the party. So our goal is to work with voters and constituents and help keep everybody on track. We have our own statement of principles, which we believe should be the basis for the party platform. Um, this is just some excerpts from it. The full statement is online at rlc.org. Um, but basically, we go right to the root that, as Jefferson intended, the heart of the Constitution is the idea of natural rights to life, liberty, and property. We kind of have our three pillars of our statement of principles, individual liberty, limited government, free market economics. Um, so we can, everything kind of falls under one of those three categories. And one of the things why, um, why we think principles matter so much is if you, know, if you get somebody, we get all these Republicans elected to office and they don't stand for something, if they don't stay true to what they ran on, then all the, all the electoral victories are pointless. So principles matter. We believe that principles uh, matter over party and principles matter over personality. Principles are the most We need to still stick with principles. We need to vote with principles. We need to have those principles and know those principles before going into any. You can't fall in that trap of letting the emotional side of things get to us, um, which it, I get it, it's hard. Very hard. I have a very big heart. I consider myself a very caring and, and but at the end of the day, I have principles and I have to. I mentioned two of the bills on our scorecard were introduced by Representative Parker. She did take over the House Judiciary Committee this year, which was incredible. And coming around, Sue was saying about awards. So this year we decided <laughs> that we were going to do some awards for the best. And as I introduce Representative Parker, I am proud to announce that you are our Rookie of the Year. <laughs> so, the best scoring record for a rookie legislative yeah. legislator, and it makes you one of our Thank seven you. people wow. who's on the scorecard every year, yeah, so we expect yeah. to see you up there again. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> This year in the House, we had a small group of like-minded conservatives. We, we were able to kind of get together, support each other, and then actually push back. Most of us in the group were freshmen. And we were able to push back on some of the things, like some of the budgets or some of the bad bills. They'd come up on the board. We'd be able to you know, text the majority leader, the speaker, and say, hey, why is this up here? This, is, this has like three Republicans supporting it and all Democrats. This shouldn't be going up. Or why is this bill being heard? Why aren't we blocking this? And then when the budget came through, we were able to say, oh, you know, there's way too much spending here. Yeah, the tax cut's great, but that's not a free-for-all on every everyone's individual projects that they wanted to spend. And that's kind of how they were addressing it. So because we had enough people, we were kind of able to coalesce and like push back and actually have some influence um, and, and get things in a more conservative direction. Um, so the press derogatorily started to call us, oh, a small group of fiscal hawks are holding everything up. Um, <laughs> and so we, we kind of took that and went with it and we're like, yeah, the hawks, that's great. So now we're calling ourselves hawks. So I'm an attorney in Arizona. I'm also a hawk <laughs> and I'm a freshman. Um, so I wanted to uh, keep with the theme of talking about principles. Um, as an attorney, and if any of you are attorneys or know some or <laughs> live with some or whatever, uh, we, we are very, very big on multi-pronged tests. So coming into the legislature, I established a four-pronged test that everything has to go through <laughs> before it will get my support. Um, and it's, it's been a little comical because sometimes people come in, they look, and I actually have my four prongs framed in gold on my wall <laughs> in my office. Um, it's Parker's four prong test. Prong is very near and dear to my heart, and it's it's the question: Is this the proper role of government? And 
it's amazing how many bills that disqualifies. <laughs> we're also doing two awards for our Champions of Liberty. We're going to give Shauna Bullock her award later when, when we see her, because she was the highest scorer in the House. Um, and then Warren's going to be our champion for the Senate. He was the only perfect score in the Senate. He was the highest score among all 90 legislators. And his lifetime score on our four scorecards we've done is 100. So I don't think anybody else I was asked to kind of talk about principles. I'm totally principle guided. Um, uh, many people say I have no heart, um, but I, I just have these rules, and it hurts sometimes to follow these rules. It's very painful. Believe it or not, I do have a heart, and it, you know, it's like oh, I want to do that, but you know, here's my rules, and and these are the rules I follow uh, consistently when I vote. Otherwise, I don't want to be down there because if you just get the people. If we're just there to be nice and to get along and to, you know, have big hearts and, you know, help people, you know, with whatever, then, you know, anybody can do that. Anybody can go with the flow, um, but we need people down there that can just, here's, you know, here's the principles. <laughs> anyway, so here's my four principles, and you'll find a very, very similar, uh, almost exactly what Jackie um, shared, and some will just be other, other words. So, so number one. When I first read a bill, I read every bill, look at every bill, my very first question when I look at the bill is, does this bill protect individual rights? Okay? Does this bill protect individual rights? In other words, is this the proper role of government? As she said. Because that's what the, prop, the proper role of government, and it's, it's terrifying because I think there's like seven legislators out of 90 that know this? Okay, that sucks, all right? It sucks. There's seven out of 90 that know this, okay? So, but the proper role of government is to protect individual rights. So does this bill do that? And that right there, it just like wipes out tons, 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 tons of bills. In, in other words, does this bill protect your freedom? Does this bill make it so that, you know, you can make choices? You can, you, 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 you can be mobile. You can do what you want to do without hurting other people. Does